Thank you everyone for coming. The reason I called this press meeting is to officially announce that I am done playing Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. <laughs> and now I will delete it forever. Now it's gone. Any questions? Ah, uh, yes, in the back. What game are you gonna replace it with? I'm glad you asked. I'm leaving it for Nickelodeon All Star Brawl. So, guys, I hope you liked that opening as much as I did, because <laughs> that was <laughs> interesting for an intro. But, yep, this Nickelodeon All Star Brawl game, this like Smash like based game, officially announced today. There was like a bunch of leaks going around for the past few days about it being announced, and now it's officially announced and this is the trailer, so I, I wanted to also do my reaction for it as well as put out my thoughts for it and my hopes for this game. And also before I start, thank you guys for getting me to 30,000 subscribers. I didn't talk about it um, last week, but I want to talk about it now. Thank you, I really appreciate it. We, just, we cracked 30K, and I really want to appreciate you all for that, so. Let's let me show off the trailer. Here we go. Oh Wait, wait, hold up. I just need to check the volume. I forgot All right, wait, I think I got the volume good. All right, let me just put it right here. Okay, there we go All right, so let's watch the trailer Get ready to brawl It's interesting how they show off Michelangelo and Lincoln Loud first. Because normally when you're making like this um, crossover Smash like game, you normally want to show like the the big IP. Like when you're showing like if you're like marketing like something like Smash, you have to show off like the main IP. Like you have to show Mario first. You gotta show Link, Z uh, Z um, Pokemon, and Kirby because like those were the first ones to be shown in the game, and then. That was similar with, like, um, PlayStation All-Stars. They showed off Kratos. Um, I think another IP I forgot, but... It's we it's weird how they chose these two to be, like, the first show. It's, it was a really weird. <laughs> and I like how Link Lincoln has a little yo-yo. I heard, I heard so many people are saying that he's basically gonna be Ness because of that stupid down smash Ness has. <laughs> Okay, so I didn't even know who this character was because I did not even watch Ren and Stimpy. I only know Ren and Stimpy. I only saw like a few clips of it, and I only know these two scenes: one where they're the president and they just like nuke some an area, and the one where they're singing "Happy, Happy, Joy, Joy, Happy, Happy, Joy, Joy." That's still in my head. I can never get it rid of it. <laughs> Oh, wait, I just noticed that was love world. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. What was the junkyard for a second? What's the junk? Is that junkyard supposed to be from the turtles or somewhere else? I can't pinpoint where it's from. Alright, that's it. You see the turtle stage, and then. Oh, we got Glove World. <laughs> what is Lincoln's move supposed to be with the glasses? I'm very curious. There we go, there's Patrick. I, I, I forgot the name, I'm, I'm, I'm annoyed. I just, I was just in a Discord talking with someone. It was like monsters or something. Dang it, I can't remember it. If you guys remember it, please comment it. It will be a really big help. All right, yep. Yeah. This is my main here. This is gonna be my main. I'm gonna be the best Nigel. Oh no, no. I didn't realize this, but <sighs> Patrick's gonna be doing the soft serve. Oh my gosh, that's just down B. They gave him the Patrick and um, Bowser treatment with the down B. I was even like talking about it with um, other people, just saying that um, Patrick was gonna be like a grappler character, just based on how he's um, plays in like other games, because like he normally just like picks stuff up and just like gives it like a giant throw. You can see it in a lot of games, like, I, um, what is it? It's Battle for Bikini Bottom, um, the movie game, and I think Battle for Volcano Island. Oh, okay, the sewers. 
I don't get why they show his name now. Okay, I just want to note this. We're 48 seconds in, and they show SpongeBob. I like that. Helga, okay. Raptor, yes! I, I love it. Yep, Battle with Friends, of course. Oh, what was this stage? Oh! That's the Techno Drone! Oh my gosh, I did not even notice that. That was the Techno Drone. Oh, okay, that was fire. Wait. SpongeBob has the. He got the clap. SpongeBob has the clap. Oh my gosh, look. Jellyfish Fields. Yep, Zim. There's Phantom. Leonardo. Oh, they gave him these links up B. The Dutchman. Oh, that was an interesting um, attack. That was, I, I love the trailer so much. This is just... It's just so good to see your childhood um, characters be in, mixed up in this game. It's like that's why so many people love Smash, just because they just have these characters they played growing up be mixed into this like giant crossover. It's just so amazing to see. Oh my gosh! The crazy thing about when they released the trailers, I I joined the um, the Discord server for the for the official game. For the tunes or Nickelodeon of All Star Brawl, and they even said that they they didn't even they weren't even ready to show off the trailer. I think they just dropped it and they weren't like prepared because they were just setting up the Discord server, so they needed to like even they're still setting it up, so they haven't like put out a entire uh, back yet for like frequently asked questions. So they're still setting that up. I was able to ask if I was able to ask a few questions um, for when they were um, in the voice chat for the server. They did say. The, these the, these things that um one they said all the characters would be original so like no echoes because someone did say that or asked if there would be any echoes i'm not sure that was a joke or not but um they said that they also said um what else for trailers i asked for like about the trailers because like would they show like character trailers or just like gameplay trailers and yeah it seems like all the trailers are going to be like these cinematic um, care, um, trailer where they're just like all battling and I think they're just gonna show off like all different types of modes so I don't think it's gonna be like character trailers where they're just gonna like reveal like BOOM we're gonna have like this cinematic area where this character you all love is gonna just like come in and save this other character I don't think it's gonna be like that I'd say the weird part out of the trailer or just like for the roster right now because hold on let me also show off the um the roster because i did see a list for the roster so let me get okay so this is currently the roster right now so we currently have michelangelo leonardo from the ninja turtles N nigel from the thornberries powered powdered toast from red and stimpy weird choice spongebob's patrick and sandy and then Oblinia, ah, real monsters. I, I mean, yeah, <laughs> I guess I said the name. And then the Loud House characters, Hey Arnold, Helga, Reptar, Zim, and then Danny Phantom. So, yeah. Hmm. What I find weird is that they left out two big IPs. They left out Fairly Odd Parents and Jimmy Neutron. Because for when they were even doing these crossovers back in the day because if you played um nicktoons unite or like yeah it was just like this um i think it was this three part series because um for this crossover game where it went to nicktoons unite battle for volcano island and then globs of doom which had um spongebob danny phantom 
Timmy Turner and Jimmy Neutron all playable in this four player co op game that you would be able to, and you would fight to save all of these other worlds. It, it's a really fun game. I think I might also try and stream it if I um, get the chance and find the right people to do it with. But, but yeah, Jimmy Neutron and Timmy Turner were like both working together with Spongebob and Danny Phantom. So I'm, it's surprising that they aren't included for this game because I don't get how they aren't included since they were like always a part of like the big crossover games. So I'm hoping, here's what I hope for what they do for their trailer. I want to see them both fight um, similar to how they do in like their intros, like in the Jimmy Timmy Power Hour, where they're both fighting for this, um, for the spotlight. I want to see something like that if they're able to um, get the trailer for it. Now here's something I did not expect. <laughs> it's, it's, it blows my mind. It blows my mind that Smash doesn't even have this at all. Like here, let's read this. So. Someone asked already in their Discord a statement on the devs about rollback, so they asked, said this. Someone went like, rollback, and then it says, on supported platforms. So while I was editing this, I just wanted to quickly give those who don't understand most fighting games a quick definition of netcode or rollback netcode in this scenario, just so they understand what I'm talking about right now. So. Basically, rollback netcode is an approach to implementing netcode in a fighting game that plays your own inputs immediately and then rewinds them or rolls back the game if network delay causes inconsistencies. It's, pre it's pre basically the best netcode in any fighting game, and yet it played a really big factor in Guilty Gear Strive's release because it's it basically guaranteed one of the best netcodes, especially since... Um, there's still COVID going around. It was the, possibly the best way to play any fighting game, especially since many fighting games were hurting for the lack of netcode. In this scenario, Dragon Ball Fighters and Smash Brothers. And since this game is going to have rollback netcode, it's going to be a big factor in online. In their Discord. So, there is some basically rollback is going to be in the game. Roll back. <laughs> Roll back has a Nickelodeon game. Yeah, it's a rollback before Smash. Now, to cl before I finish out, there's only two characters or three characters I'd request, which are definitely Timmy Turner and Jimmy Neutron. And then, for the last one, and yet the, the roster is basically complete after they get him. I just, they just need to give me Otis from back in the barnyard. Just, just give me Otis. Just, just give me him. Just give me the cow. Give me the cow, and we're good. That, that, you, you, you complete the game if you just give me the cow. It's that simple. That's gonna be it for this discussion video. I hope you guys enjoy me doing more of these and my reaction to, um, the next, uh, the Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl. I'm looking forward to this and I'm definitely done with Smash because of this game. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to tune in for more. See you guys later.